Okay, the first one is from Gary. Hey, Gary. And Gary says, hi, Robbie. Hey, Gary. How do you get the spinning ring or cube to work? I've installed Compass Configuration Settings Manager and selected Cube Reflection and Deformation on Desktop Cube. Um, looking in the settings for a key combination, all I can see is the space bar, uh, which doesn't do a lot. Okay, cool. Question from Gary. So how can we tweak our Compass Fusion? So that's what we're going to look at right now. Uh, I've basically got my system set up as just a, a default system. If I hit Control, Alt, and then my right or left arrow, I'm able to jump between different screens like this. But as Gary's asking, how can we get that to kind of, uh, you know, get that 3D cube, get the 3D uh, sphere or the, uh, the, what do they call it, the cylinder now as well with the new version. Uh, so having already installed Compass Config Settings Manager, let's pretend that you haven't done that. I want to just actually show you how to do that. So I'm just going to click on System, Administration, and then go to Synaptic Package Manager. Once we've entered our password, that's going to bring that right up for us. In Intrepid, we've got the Quick Search, which is really, really handy. Uh, if you're not using Intrepid, or if you don't have Quick Search, if you don't see it, just hit Search over here. But for us, we can do it a little faster and just type in CCSM. And that's going to give us, oh, that's simple CCSM. I want the real one. So Comp is Config. Let's type that. There we go. Okay, so Comp is Config dash Settings dash Manager. Click on that and go mark for installation. And that will mark uh, the settings program and then hit apply. Uh, that will install that for you right from the repositories. Once you've got that installed, which I already do, now we're at where Gary's at. We're going to be able to go preferences. Uh, you can go into, into appearance and do custom or comp is config settings manager. That's going to bring up our advanced settings. I'm going to show you now again, Gary, I've got this system set up exactly as it is out of the box other than I've got a wallpaper installed. Okay. So I want to show you what we need to do. You'd mentioned that you turned on desktop cube, so that's good. All right. And that asks you if you want to disable de desktop wall, and I'm going to say OK. What was the other one that he said that he had uh, installed? Uh, let me the just uh, here. Uh, from reflection Gary. and deformation. Okay. Uh, yeah, reflection okay. deformation. So those are the two that you've already set up, and that's still going to give now I can't even move back and forth using control alt and the right arrow so what we need to turn on now Gary you're gonna see up here uh, under desktop there's a plugin called rotate cube okay once I've turned that one on now when I hold in control and alt and hold my mouse button I'm gonna be able to flip this thing around and you see how it looks like it's just a piece of paper right that's because we haven't set up more than two surfaces yet so up at the very very top we want to go into general options really straightforward and go to desktop size up there at the top and we want to change where it says desktop size is 2 see that first number change that to 4 or 6 or whatever you want to do and then we've got that now because we've turned on the deformations it looks more like a cylinder that's very cool you can customize those settings as well uh, if you want to zoom out further which I usually tend to do go down to your rotate cube and click on that Go into the general tab, and down at the bottom you'll see zoom is currently at zero. Bring that up uh, until it's at a you know something that you that you like. See how it zooms out there, and that looks pretty beautiful. Somebody else was asking about setting up the fire effect, eh? Uh, this week we got a question. Somebody asking about setting up the fire effect when they close a um, when they close a window or something like that. So mm -hmm. we went over this before, but I want to just show you really quickly. In here, first of all, turn on Animation Add-on, Animations Add-on. This is again in Compass Config Settings Manager. And then bring up Animations. And then up at the top, you'll see a tab called Close Animation. So click on that. And currently it's set to Glide 2. Just double click on that. And then change your Close Effect to Burn. Now, the, if you're not seeing Burn there, then you forgot to turn on uh, that first plugin that we turned on there. So then set your duration to something a little higher, because you want to actually see that effect let's say like somewhere in the 900s and now when I close Compass Config Settings Manager that's what we get. How cool is that? Very. Very. Uh, 